with killer clowns, new takes on universal monsters, and a plethora of childhood imagery taking a dark turn. 2024 is projected to be a great year for horror. Welcome to the Horror Fiends, your number one destination for everything horror. Today we are counting down our top 10 most anticipated horror projects releasing in 2024. Now, this is our personal opinion, so feel free to leave your list down in the comments. So without further ado, let's talk about it. Starting off the list at number 10 is the supernatural horror film. Salem's Lot. Not to be confused with 1979's Salem's Lot film, 2024's Salem Lot is a remake and brings a whole new take to Stephen King's original novel. The film is being written and directed by Gary Doberman, who you might recognize as the writer of some of the Conjuring Universe films and the co-writer of 2017's It, another Stephen King film adaptation. It is good to see that this guy has some background with the King. Now Salem's Lot follows Ben Mears, a writer who returns to his childhood home in search of inspiration, only to discover his hometown is being preyed upon by a vampire. Now this film has been delayed quite a few times. It was originally supposed to release in 2022, then 2023, and now it's expected to release in 2024, even though it doesn't have an official release date. But whether this film debuts in theaters or slides straight to streaming, this might be a film you want to sink your teeth into. At number 9 is the comedic horror film Lisa Frankenstein. The film is being directed by Zelda Williams. Does that last name sound familiar to you? Because it should. That's Robin Williams' daughter, man. And she is making her directorial debut with Lisa Frankenstein, a film that follows Lisa Swallows, a misunderstood goth teenager, played by Catherine Newton who you might recognize from 2020's horror comedy, Freaky. Lisa reanimates a corpse from the Victorian era during a lightning storm and starts to build him into the man of her dreams by using a tanning machine she keeps in her garage. Isn't there a word that starts with necro that kind of sums this whole kind of thing up? Anyways, the romantic duo embarks on a murderous rampage to find true love and happiness. The corpse is being played by none other than Cole Sprouse, it's nice to see that Jughead is following the footsteps of his father and really diving into the horror genre. Lisa Frankenstein is set to release on February 9th, 2024. At number 8, we have the creature horror film, The Baghead. The film follows Iris, played by the witcher's Freya Allen, who just lost her father. In his will, he leaves Iris with a rundown pub. Little does she know, when the deed is signed for this property, she becomes tied to an entity that resides in the basement, Baghead a shape-shifting creature that can transform into the dead. Iris is tempted to exploit the creature's powers and help desperate people for a price. Although she will soon discover that not playing by the creature's rules comes with terrifying consequences. At number 7 is Ty West's Maxine. Although the third installment in the X trilogy does not have an official release date, it is expected to be released sometime in 2024. The film sees the return of Mia Goff's Maxine the final girl of X, as she journeys to Los Angeles, seeking fame in the 1980s. Although, as we know with the rest of this trilogy, I'm sure things will go very awry. At number six is the body horror film that will trap us, and that is Saw 11. After the success of Saw X in 2023, Lionsgate was quick to announce that the next Saw movie is hitting theaters September 27th, 2024. Feels like we're back in the early 2000s when Saw was releasing every year. Not much is known about the plot of this upcoming film, but we are expecting it to follow the events of Saw X, meaning that this film will also be a prequel in the series. This also allows for the return of Tobin Bell's Jigsaw, Shawnee Smith's Amanda Young, and possibly Detective Mark Kaufman. Either way, wherever this Saw film takes us is bound to be a bloody film with a huge plot twist in the end. At number 5 is the beginning of a trilogy of horror films, starting with The Strangers Chapter 1. Although many think that this new installment in The Strangers franchise is a reboot, director Rennie Harlan stated that this film has been neither a reboot or remake, but rather a beginning of a trilogy based on the original Strangers film. Rennie Harlan is a name known in the horror community as he was the director of Nightmare on Elm Street 4, The Dream Master. The Strangers Chapter 1 follows a couple fronted by Riverdale's Madeline Petched as they search for a new beginning. Along the way, their car breaks down and they are forced to stay in an isolated Airbnb in Oregon. Throughout their stay, the couple are terrorized by three masked strangers that 
fans of this franchise are all too familiar with. At number 4 is the revamped Universal Monster Horror film, Abigail. This film is directed by the horror powerhouse of Radio Silence, whose directorial accolades consist of Ready or Not, Scream 5, and last year's Scream 6. Don't talk to me about 7. Don't. Don't. The cast contains modern horror legends such as Catherine Newton and Scream's Melissa Barrera. The film follows a group of criminals tasked with kidnapping the ballerina daughter of a powerful underworld figure, only to discover that this girl's anything but normal. With the horror genius of Radio Silence behind this film, this one is sure to be one you see at the theater. At number 3 is a remake of the classic gothic horror film Nosferatu. This film is a new take on the horror classic in the fresh eyes of director Robert Eggers, known for his work on The Witch and The Lighthouse. The cast of this film is also stacked, with the iconic Count Orlok being portrayed by none other than Bill Skarsgård. I wonder if this Count Orlok loves balloons as much as Bill Skarsgård's other monster role did. Number 2 comes in the form of a series, as Jason takes Peacock like he did Manhattan. The series I'm talking about is Camp Crystal Lake. It's been too long since we've seen a Voorhees in the modern age. A long time since we've heard. Now this series has been kept extremely under wraps, so details are few and far between. But here's what we do know. The series is being developed by Brian Fuller, in collaboration with A24 and Peacock. Steven Dodson is the main writer of the series, but it's worthy to note that Scream's Kevin Williamson is writing at least one episode of the series. The series is being executively produced by Victor Miller, who wrote the original Friday the 13th film. Also, there's a rumor that marks the return of Tom Savini as the show's makeup artist. If you love horror, especially the classics, and you don't know who Tom Savini is, I recommend you do some research. There is only one confirmed cast member of the series, and that is Adrian King, who is a horror icon, especially in the Friday the 13th franchise, known as Alice Hardy, the original Final Girl, and the original Friday film. Although there is no official release date released, much like a lot of 2024's horror, it is expected to be released in 2024 hinted by Adrian herself on Instagram. The series is a prequel to the Friday films. It leads up to the events of the first film in the franchise, and where it takes it from there is a complete mystery. And at number one is the third installment in a franchise and a holly jolly film coming in the form of Terrifier 3. Damien Leone returns to direct the third film in a blood-soaked franchise. The film follows the not-so-mortal Art the Clown after the events of the previous film this time during Christmas Eve, as he unleashes his signature chaos on Miles County as they drift peacefully to sleep. The film marks the return of David Howard Thornton as Art the Clown and Lauren Levera as Sienna. Terrifier 2 brought up a lot of backstory and lore for the series and many questions. I think we're all hoping that this new film takes that even further and answers some of those bleach burning questions. And I do think, even though it's not on the list, it is worthy to note of the return of Winona Ryder and Michael Keaton in Beetlejuice 2 coming this year. Although many don't consider the original Beetlejuice in the horror genre, it is worthy to note that modern horror legend Jenna Ortega is starring in the cast. So maybe this is a film you might need to watch three times. What horror projects of 2024 are you most anticipated for this year? Let us know down in the comments. If you like horror as much as we do, make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications. But besides that, we will see you in the morgue.